Thank you very much for joining this lesson. We are going to study the properties of the radiations which are released during radioactivity. We have already seen the three of them. They are either alpha particles, beta particles, or what we call the gamma radiations. Therefore, we are going to study their penetration power in this case, whereby we are considering, we are going to consider a sheet of paper placed before a radioactive sheet of paper with another sheet of paper placed on a table like that sheet of paper like that okay let me draw it well a sheet of paper like that this sheet of paper then after the sheet of paper Aluminium foil, an aluminium foil, we can have an aluminium foil after that, which is a bit thicker than, a bit thicker than the paper, a bit thicker than paper, so this is aluminium foil. That is an aluminium foil. Then after this, we have a lead block, which is thick. A lead block, which is thick. Lead here. Lead is one of the materials with a lot of high density. Lead has high density. Lead is one of the materials used to shield to shield the machines which operate with dangerous radiations. Therefore, the lead block, we can see it's a bit thicker. Therefore, this one we can call it a thick, a thick lead block. This is thick lead. Therefore, when a radioactive substance is placed in front of these materials, we usually say from the radioactive source, from the radioactive source, So the radioactive nuclide placed there, we will have the radiations coming out. The radiations coming out. They are not facing any deflection because because uh, there is no field, uh, there is no magnetic or electric field. You see, we will have the first radiation being stopped. The first radiation being stopped by a thin paper. The first radiation will get stopped here by thin paper. And uh, this one is alpha. Alpha particles, which we say they are very heavy and are moving slow as are being. They just get blocked by a sheet of paper. A sheet of paper. Then we have another radiation which goes beyond the sheet of paper, another radiation which goes beyond the sheet of paper and penetrates to the other side. But after, after penetrating to the other side, after penetrating to the other side, we will have this beta particles, this beta particles blocked by a sheet. Therefore, a sheet of aluminium can block particles, but we are, can block beta particles, but we say alpha particles can be blocked by a sheet of paper. Then finally we have the ones which have highest energy and we call them gamma radiations. And gamma radiations can go through matter, can penetrate a sheet of paper, can penetrate a thin aluminium until they reach a thick block. It is only a thick block which can, can block gamma radiations. So we have gamma radiations going to the farthest end. 
with the highest penetration power and gets blocked by a thick lead block. Bitter particles follow, which are able to penetrate paper but get blocked by aluminium. Then finally we have alpha particles, which were saying they are very heavy, moving very slowly with a big mass and can be stopped at the first place by a sheet of paper. So that is how they vary in what we call penetration. Thank you for following. Subscribe to Shifting Grades and share the link. Thank you.